Welcome back to 52%. Page 3 has been in the news recently with Rupert Murdoch suggesting he's going to bring it to an end. But the demise of Page 3 didn't last long. Here's Gareth to tell you all about it. On 52%, we've been discussing issues that affect women every day. And I don't think that there's a bigger issue facing women today than the casual sexism that exists on some of the pages of Britain's biggest selling newspapers. I'm, of course, referring to Page 3. So I'm going to tell you five incredible facts about Page 3 that are going to make you so angry, you're going to want to join me in ripping up your copy too. Firstly, we're in 2015. Page 3 was introduced during the sexist 70s. Just to give you some sort of scale there, Calculators had literally just been invented and CD-ROMs were a pipe dream. I think it's about time that the sun caught up with the rest of the world. Secondly, uh, it's soft porn in the family newspaper. And until 2003, the models they used were just 16 years old. It's only a matter of time until we look back on that era and think, what the hell were we thinking? Thirdly, what sort of message does Page 3 send to young children? They go to the newspaper and they see uh, pictures of men in suits with big opinions, important jobs, running the country, yet women are there to be ogled at. All it does is just reinforce sexism from a young age. Fourthly, page three is an icon that perpetuates and normalises sexism as just banter, introduced in phrases like, whoa, look at the rack on that. Well, that is someone's daughter. I need to remember that women are people and not things. And lastly, News, these newspapers would be so much stronger if they were to abandon page three altogether because any sort of story that they run on women's issues such as domestic abuse, violence or sexual harassment in the workplace are drowned out and contradicted by the neon flashing sign that is page three. So hopefully you've listened to my argument and you agree that page three should be dropped altogether for a fairer and more equal society and that we should all stand up and say no more to page three because boobs aren't news. And if you want to find out some more information about this fantastic course, visit the website www.nomorepage3.org.